So, so how was uh? I just want to say thank you guys for um being there with me on my journey, and I really appreciate y'all love and y'all support. Uh, way back at all of you guys. My baby really loved talking to you guys on live. Like for some reason, he just get overwhelmed with y'all love. Um. It's been a long 90 days, and um, I really appreciate everybody with y'all love and y'all support, all right? So, with that being said... How do, how do you get me as an Uber driver? I don't know. Depends where you at. Where's Annie? I don't know. Go check her Instagram page. What's up? All the way from Texas. I'm in Florida. A Koei? Nah, I'll be on that side. Um, my sister wasn't at the wedding. You gotta ask her. To say hello to Annie, you gotta go on her Instagram. Yeah, I had a crazy driving experience. One day I was driving, and it was a it was a um, married couple with a dude, and the husband was sitting next to me. The wife was sitting right like right behind me, and it was a black guy sitting behind the husband. And then next thing you know, I'm hearing "Honey, this honey, that honey, honey, honey." So I ain't thinking nothing of it, and then. Next thing you know, I'm hearing tongue kissing in the back. So I look through the mirror. I'm like, oh, shit. So um, the dude go, yo, I'm tired. And this lady, she goes, you need to stop because I'm going to put this pussy on your face when we get in this room tonight. Me being the person who I am, I just started laughing. So when I started laughing, I was like, oh, shit, you need to tighten up, homeboy. And then the husband was like, yeah, Joel, you need to tighten up and get it together. And I really was like, yo, this is some crazy shit. And um, I'm driving, you know, and I rock my hat on. At that time, I had my ponytail down. And then next, you know, she touches my ponytail and she go, Robert, you half white. I started laughing. I was like, I was like, nah, I'm not half white, you know. <laughs> I'm half Indian, you know what I'm saying? And that shit was funny as hell. So I'm like really trying to get these people out my whip. So get to the hotel. And next thing you know, she like, you want to come upstairs? For oh, wait. It was a lot I missed out. So after she squeezed my ponytail, after she squeezed my ponytail, and she asked me, was I half white? And I said, no. Right? So I'm driving. And then she just go. <sighs> she pauses. And then she go, I want some big black dick tonight. And then the husband go, whoa. I said, whoa. Now I'm moving faster. And then the husband go, she's recruiting right now. You need to get your ass up. Blah, 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 blah. So um, I got a lot of Uber stories, yo. That I said. And... I get to the hotel, and um, she goes, you want to come upstairs with some fireball? I'm like, nah. She like, you sure? I'm like, nah. Like, I don't, I don't, fuck that. I ain't with that shit. That shit is crazy, you know? What up, Scotland? But there's a lot of shit that I went through. I had a lady arguing with my GPS, fucking drunk. The GPS is like, go right. She like, oh, that bitch don't know me. Why is she sending you in this direction? I had that. I had a lady tell me she loved me. She didn't fucking know me, you know? Yeah, I do it on and off. You, you, if you do, I'm going to tell you this. If you're in the Orlando area, hell yeah, you make good money in Orlando. You'll make bank in Orlando doing that because you um got you do Uber and Lyft at the same time. You got Disney. You got Universal. You got all the conventions. You got the city of Orlando. So you can make bank. Like, within six hours, you should make at least 
Uh, I would say 150. You can make 150 easy. So that's how that is. Thank you. He's so adorable. He's full of energy. Yeah, for women doing Uber, I would say, you know, it would be a little different because you're a woman. But like I said, you do it by Disney. If you're a woman, you stay in the tourist area. You know, <clears throat> see, that's what it is. Yeah, you, you do it by Disney. If you do it by Disney, you should have no problem. What, you going to have a little baby in your car crying or like little food here and there? So that's not, that's not bad, you know. Thank you. He's adorable. He's my little best friend. Thank you. Yeah, he looks just like me. He's just a little lighter version. Hey, yo, this is for the record. I'm tired of people saying that my son mother is in jail. It's like, I feel like when people say that, it just, it just it disgusts me being a parent. Like, they go, oh, well, she's in jail, so she can't do nothing for him. That girl is not in jail. She's scot free to do whatever she wants. So if you're on any of those blogs and people saying she in, she in jail, she's not. All right? <clears throat> but Bryson is happy. Bryson is very happy. And that's all I can say about that. But I'm happy that you guys enjoyed the show. And none of that was edited either. That was me. You know? I'm glad you enjoy watching it. What up, nephew? Yeah, Bryson is a great kid. He's full of energy and he's fun. He's my best friend. He's um, he's a sweet little boy. Thank you. Yeah, I don't want to ask any questions about N. Thank you. Yeah, that is that Brooklyn in me. That Brooklyn in me ain't gonna never go nowhere. You know? That Brooklyn is in me forever. Forever. You know, I was born in Best Style. I was raised in Crown Heights right there on Nostrand and Park Place. I went to PS26 on Malcolm X when I was little, you know? Yeah, like I tell, like I say it all the time. My phone number been the same. For five years, you know, um, I never changed my phone number. When I moved to Orlando, it was always the same. If you want to get in touch, you get in touch. I would never stop her from seeing him because, you know, that's his mom. And as a parent, I wouldn't want to do that. That's disgusting to do that. You know, I'm not selfish like that. Every child needs a, a mother and a father. But he's happy. You know. Thanks. Thanks, Tracy. Well, I got to go. It was nice talking to y'all. Maybe I'll do a live with Bryson later on because um, for some reason, he love you guys. And he be like, oh, I'm on 90 day on say. He says on say. And uh, he really likes talking to y'all guys. Yeah, he at school. He's at school. Bryson's at school. And next year, he's going to big boy school. And his birthday is coming up. Nah, I ain't cutting my hair. I'll cut my hair when uh, when it grows long enough to donate it. Yeah, watching Bryson with Annie is cute. It is cute. Because um, Bryson... Bryson is rough. He's a rough little boy. And um, he's not used to being around... A woman like that you know he's just me and him head on so Bryson really thinks he's a little man you know so he he softened up with her that's what I, that's one thing I could say about her <laughs> thanks man then send the love back to you from Florida Yo, y'all have a good day. Stay blessed, and um, I'll talk to y'all later.